Hey guys, Danny here on Metal Couch, and today I'm going to be reviewing Gamma Bomb's Citizen Brain, a thrash album from the second thrash album, actually, from Gamma Bomb, released in 2008 on Earache Records. So, a bit of a background on Gamma Bomb. They're a thrash band from Northern Ireland, and they definitely have some of the funniest thrash material I have ever heard in my life. Just by when I'll get to the song titles, you'll see what I mean. But I heard about this band uh, actually through Last FM, just by you know putting up a radio, we just tuning into a, one of the radio stations they have on there, and it would played this band and it played one of the songs off this album actually and it sounded really good it was really entertaining and it was really funny so getting into track listing here you have zombie blood nightmare evil voices final fight time crime global warning ocp hammer slammer sentence to thrash zombie brew hell trucker Return of the Technodrome, Thrashaholic, In the Court of General Zod, Space Invaders, and Bullet Belt. And it also includes a bonus 30-minute DVD featuring exclusive behind-the-scenes material. So that's a bit of a treat. I watched the DVD, and I'll, I'll get to the DVD later. It's, well, you know what I mean. I'll get to it later. Anyway... Going through the tracks, Zombie Blood Nightmare is a really good opening track. Really sets the mood for what this disc is going to sound like. It's uh, Like all the songs on here, it's short. All of these songs, and there are no songs on this album that are over four minutes. I think the song that's the longest is exactly three minutes and 31 seconds. So if you have a really short attention span, this is the album for you because you don't get much of the same thing. It's really quick, short, sweet, and to the point. Evil Voices, you get a little bit of the same with Zombie Blood Nightmare. Final Fight is a really good song. There's some A-Team references in there. Uh, Global Warning is a song, of, well, Time Crime, I'm sorry, I almost skipped a track. Time Crime, a uh, good song about Time Cop, which, this band does a lot of, their, a lot of their material is written after 80s movies. Uh, 80s video games, TV shows, things like that. Kind of a bit of an homage to the old school thrash days. With Time Crime, as I said, Time Cop. Global Warning is about global warming, except global warning. I don't know. It's confusing. OCP is a short 40-second track using quotes from the movie Robocop. I was impressed at how well that this was executed. Hammer Slammer is a track that I first heard, as I mentioned earlier on Last FM, song about smashing people's heads open with a hammer. Can't really go wrong with that. Sentence to Thrash is a really good track about you commit a crime and you're sentenced to thrash for eternity. Really great closer to, uh, really great closing to that album. I really like the end of that song. It's uh, very comedic, very well executed, and I like it a lot. Zombie Brew is zombie beer. That's the best way I can describe that song. Zombie beer. Hell Trucker is a song about trucking through hell. Because everybody wants to be a semi-driver and drive through hell. As if the United States highway system wasn't hell already. Return of the Technodrome. If I have to explain what the Technodrome is and you call yourself a nerd, you should be executed immediately. I do not need to explain the Technodrome for obvious reasons, because you should know what the Technodrome is. Thrashaholic, professing their love for Thrash. In the court of General Zod, it's just about Superman and the villain General Zod. Space Invaders is about invaders from space. And then you have Bullet Belt to close out the album, which is talking about putting on your bullet belt, smashing people's faces in at a concert. 
It's really cool, and all in all, this uh, the amount of content you get, you get 15 songs, and even though all of them average out to be about two and a half minutes, two to two and a half to three minutes, you still feel like you get a lot in this album. Uh, 15 songs, you really can't go wrong. The 30-minute DVD has some in-studio footage, has the band messing around, antics, and then you have some live footage, too. It's not exactly what I would really want in a bonus DVD. I would like some something like with what the Mastodon bonus DVDs do, where, yeah, you get some band antics here and there, you know, some funny comedic things, but you also get a lot of content discussing the songs and things like that instead of, oh, I'm going to play this random thrash riff and you're going to watch me record it, or I'm going to do vocals over here and you're going to watch me do vocals, and then every once in a while maybe set something on fire and then have some live footage. So this DVD, 30 minutes long, it's just a nice thing to have. Uh, you're not really missing anything if you get a version that doesn't have the bonus DVD. So, with Gamma Bomb's Citizen Brain, which I want to I wanna comment more about the art design on Citizen Brain. Look at some of this artwork. If you can't tell what that is, it's a scene that's supposed to be a presidential election, and the candidate skin is exploding, revealing a robot brain, con yeah, a brain in a jar controlling a robot with a lot of tentacle arms impaling people, and... It's pretty fucking cool. I like this art style. I like this cover a lot. Inside, the lyrics are all on uh, what look like the back of Konami boxes. There's even Konami's brand in there. You got Space Invaders, Technodrome, Final Fight. Hammer Slammer is on, look, looks like newspapers and things like that. You've got a lot of uh, in-studio and band photos here. Just a giant collage. So the art design of this is really good. And ooh, I can't show that in... Yeah, I definitely can't show that on here due to nudity. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the art design of this cover. It's really cool. I'd like to have a shirt of that or at least a poster or something. So all in all, Gamma Bomb Citizen Brain, if I had to give it a final grade, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. Definitely check this out if you're a big thrash fan or if you just like metal about video games and movies from the 80s. It's, it's kind of... If you're familiar with the band Austrian Death Machine, which they're all about Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, it's a similar style of execution. You've got these really great metal songs, but material that they're talking about is what really kills it and i really enjoy citizen brain a lot and i can't wait to review their next album which was actually free it's free to download from gamma bomb themselves and i'll be reviewing that next week so 8.5 out of 10 for citizen brain this is danny here on metal couch signing off